sexuality uh, sexuality is part of a larger creative force uh, I'm, I'm attracted to the concept of white hair and this philosopher white hair uh, also Tyler Hardy Chardin that the universe is eros in other words but not eros as reduced to sexuality in the human being that it is a very a very creative intelligent universe and uh, that creative power has been differentiated to the creative power of our mind and our imagination and part of it moves into the biological realm which is which can express self as sexuality but separated sexuality separated from this larger con context is actually in a sense a form of dehumanization but connected to that overall flow is just part and parcel of one whole process. It is just one expression of the creative powers of the universe. And so there is a very big responsibility. <laughs> so, so in a sense it's all called free love. People don't really understand what they're dealing with, I mean in that, in that context. I never, by the way, I never joined that my generation <laughs> because I had a I had a sense of the sacredness of this process and I wanted to understand it much more deeply. You know, something really powerful that tends to lead you to the unconscious. I, I you know, I kind of, that for me is always problematic. If something leads you to the, to the unconscious and not to the kind of super conscious understanding and living out of that, for me is problematic because then you become a slave to it.